Hi everybody, this is Chris again with Laurel City Historical Fencing. Uh, this is going to be a part one of, I'm not quite sure yet, but probably about a 10 part series of videos all related. Um, this, uh, these are all going to cover the um, uh, Polax work from Hans Talhofer from specifically the 1467 manuscript. Uh, there's overall about um, 20 something plates uh, we had worked on this in our uh, advanced class, so uh, the students uh, worked through all these techniques one after another. And while I looked at them plenty of times before, working on them with uh, a, several more experienced students, I really started to see more of a pattern of of a flow of instruction, count you know a technique, a, count, a setup, a counter, a counter to the counter, a counter to the. So I thought it would make a nice series of videos. Um, this is also going to be, congratulations, the only one that I'm going to do a uh, opening like this for. So that way when uh, you're watching them on YouTube, we're going to set this up as a playlist. So you can just go play one, listen to me talk for 30 seconds here, and then just go boom, 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 right through all of them. But uh, um, like I said, the, uh, these are going to be about, I want to say when I've had my super organized notes here, uh, it looks like it's going to be probably about 10 parts, maybe 11 total, and uh, each one we're going to see the setup, uh, our interpretation of the technique itself, and uh, some of the manuscript images as well as uh, some of uh, me and my, uh, my uh, more experienced students actually trying these out. So I uh, hope you enjoy, and uh, if you have any questions, please comment below, message us on Facebook, shoot us an email, whatever. It's 2018, there's plenty of ways to get in touch with us, so enjoy the series. The first two plays in Talhofer's Polax are pretty straightforward. They are both simple defenses with one end of the axe, followed by a counter with the opposite end. The first bind is one you would commonly see when both opponents are attacking from above. Here, Luke and Ben both begin in Vontag. Once they've bound, Ben releases pressure from the bind and counterattacks with the tail. For the second technique, we'll parry with the tail and then counterattack with the head. Here, Ben will start off in Vamtag, ready to throw a powerful attack from above, while Luke waits in Nabenhut. When Ben attacks, Luke will use the tail of his axe to clear Ben's axe aside and then counter with the thrust from the head. 